friend speaking of stones, who instead of going to souvenir shops when he traveled, to save money and to remember his trips, he would choose one stone from the ground in each place. He was very well organized and would place these stones in a museum on a wall with little labels. This stone taken from beneath the Eiffel Tower, June 1978, and so on. So I thought this would be a good idea to do, would save money. So I started doing this picking up of stones, not being organized. However, I wound up with a sack of stones, wonderful stones, very important stones from all over the world. I can't tell them apart, so I just have a sack of stones. This is for him, and it's called the Museum of Stones. And this is the one in the Beloit Journal. The Museum of Stones. These are your stones assembled in matchbox and tin, collected from roadside culvert and viaduct, battlefield threshing floor basilica abattoir. Stones loosened by tanks in the streets from a city whose earliest map was drawn in ink on linen. Schoolyard stones in the hand of a corpse. Pebble from Apollinaire's we. Stone of the mind within us, carried from one silence to another. Stone of Cromlech and Cairn, schist and shale, hornblende, agate, marble, millstones, ruins of choirs and shipyards, chalk marl mudstone from temples and tombs. Stone from the silvery grass near the scaffold. Stone from the tunnel lined with bones. Lava of a city's entombment. Chipped from lighthouse, cell wall, scriptorium. Paving stones from the hands of those who rose against the army. Stones where the bells had fallen. Where the bridges were blown. Those that had flown through windows, weighted petitions, Feldspar, rose quartz, blue schist, niece, and chert. Fragments of an abbey at dusk. Sandstone toe of a Buddha, mortared at Bamiyan. Stone from the hill of three crosses and a crypt. From a chimney where storks cried like human children. Stones newly fallen from stars. A stillness of stones, a heart, altar and boundary stone, marker and vessel, first cast load and hail, bridge stones and others to pave and shut up with. Stone apple, stone basil, beech berry, stone break, stone bramble, stone fern, lichen, liverwort, pippin and root. Concretion of the body, as blind, as cold, as deaf. All earth, a quarry. All life, a labor. Stone-faced, stone-drunk with hope that this assemblage of rubble taken together would become a shrine or holy place, an ossuary, immovable and sacred, like the stone that marked the path of the sun as it entered the human dawn.